Hi, it's James McCleary here. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the last of the seven major chords. Now, I've saved this chord to last, as it was the last chord that I learned myself, and a lot of other guitarists probably somewhere. Yes, this is the dreaded chord of F major. You'll find why I call it the dreaded chord shortly, but we'll take a look at it, break it down once again. Let's have a look at it. So this is the shape of the F major chord. That's how it should sound. Now much like the B chord, which I had taught in the last lesson, we're going to take our index finger, this is also a bar chord, and we're going to place it on the first fret and bar all of them strings. You're going to be playing every string in this chord. As I had explained before, you want to try and use the side of your finger just to give you a little, not directly on the side of your index finger, but not on the pad neither, which will give you a little bit more pressure to pinch them strings. And then get your thumb once again and make sure it's somewhere in the center of the neck, in behind. You want to keep that thumb nice and low, not too far out over the top. Not for barring a chord like this anyway. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our second finger and we're going to place it in the second fret on the third string. Then we're going to take our third finger and we're going to place it in the third fret on the fourth string. And then lastly, we're going to take our little finger and we're going to place it on the fifth string, also on the third fret. And this is how it should sound. You want to try and get them strings ringing out nice and clean, as I always say. Try and get them sounding as best as possible. Now, I play the F chord slightly different. That is the F bar chord, but there is another way to play it. Okay, so what you can do also with this chord, and I'm going to go against what I had previously said about the thumb. This time, what we're going to do is... We're going to keep these fingers in the same position, but instead of using your index finger as the bar chord, you're going to be taking your first finger and you're going to be barring the bottom two strings. And we'll play this chord out just from the fifth string up. Now we also need that bass string, that bass E. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this thumb and we're going to bar the top string. That first time wasn't actually so clean. So yet again, it will sound exactly the same. Maybe slightly trickier that way. That is the way I would prefer to play it. And um, you can play different chords. You can play F. F sharp in the G and it just works it got right the way up the neck of the guitar some may find it easier with playing it as a bar chord like so with your index finger now in a previous lesson I had taught the E major chord now the reason I'm going to talk about E major it's a little tip here for remembering how to play F major and what we're going to do is, instead of playing it with the first three fingers, like so, what we're going to do is, we're going to play it like this. We're going to play with our second finger on in the first fret on the third string, with our second finger on the fourth string in the second fret, and our last finger on the fifth string. And we're going to play our last, sorry, our last finger on the 5th string, also on the 2nd fret. Now the reason I'm talking about E major here, what we're going to do now is, we're going to slide it up one. And it'll, it'll give you a nice little Spanish sound. Now whenever we move it up, all we have to do is, place our 1st finger, and that'll give you F. So we're in E, then move it up one, place our first finger down, and you have F. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this beginner series of guitar lessons, the chords I've been teaching. And if you would like to see some more, don't forget to come back. I'm going to have some chord changes coming up shortly, something different. I was going to do some beginner leap guitar as well for anybody that might be interested. So please remember to tune in, like and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching.